Don't whip it, boy. Oh my God, this is the perfect video to show on a Monday. This is Sports Center. Hey, I'm Rissa Roberto, and they don't even play today, but all eyes are on Toronto at Leafs practice because Austin Matthews did not look like himself on Saturday night. He was completely exhausted and couldn't even finish the game. We know he was dealing with an illness all week, so would he be on the ice at practice today? Well, the answer to that is no, as he did not practice today. So what does that mean for a status tomorrow night? Here's Sheldon Keefe. Obviously, didn't practice today. Status is uh, yet to be determined for, for tomorrow. Can travel? Can, no travel, yeah. How much can that be a rallying point for the, for the group? You guys responded well when missing guys all year. Yeah, I mean, of course we're hopeful that he's he's available and feeling good and, and back to himself. So you know that's that's what we're hopeful for. But you know we we've uh, played well with guys out in the past. Obviously, we started the series without Willie and uh, had to deal with that. And so you know, in the regular season, same kind of thing. But you know, we'll see what tomorrow brings. I mean, yeah, that's true, Keith. I don't know what to tell you. Tomorrow without Matthews would be a sad sight. Happy Willie's back, but I really hope Matthews feels better. Matthews has been held pointless in three of four games in this series. And the line that he's up against, led by Brad Marchand, well, Marchand leads the series in points with eight through four games. Marchand is doing what Marchand does. We just need Matthews to do what he does. And as we head into tomorrow, this Leafs season is truly on the brink. But it's not just a season, the whole core four blueprint as well. Because a loss to Boston in five, you have to start thinking major changes are going to happen. Which would honestly be so disappointing knowing how good the core four really are in the regular season. They just, I don't know. It, it would just, it would be really sad. <laughs> to the ice, or actually the NFL, or is it both? Because if you're a fan of the show, you know that we love George Kittle for so many reasons. This being one of them. If you could join any stable historically, what stable would you want to join? Yes. YDX. <laughs> Perfect. Thanks, man. So My producer Christopher Hine asked him that question, okay? He got in there. I was there. I was recording. That was me behind the camera. Well, he was at the Preds game this weekend and mic'd up, so you just know something magical happened. <laughs> Fudge. Sir, what game are you watching? Because it's obviously not this one. Oh, You're literally dead. kids complimenting him I can't I can't this was wholesome sports content but I'm also being told that he did kind of chirp my Raiders let's watch that one my favorite is when a uh, Raiders fan is like who I hate you I'm like your team left you that's one of my favorite comments that cut so deep honestly I don't know because he could be referring to LA he could be referring to Oakland god the team does leave a lot <laughs> To the association, and is tonight LeBron's last game as a Laker? I know, I know, it's a strong statement. But with the season on the line in Denver tonight, it really could be. Because at this point, we think this version of the Lakers has shown their limitations against Jokic and the Nuggets. Going back to January of 2023, the Lakers are just 1-11 and against Denver, with that lone win coming a couple nights ago in Game 4. Now, if they do lose, the question immediately goes to LeBron and his $51 million player option for next season. Because if he can't win the title with the Lakers, then what exactly is he doing there? As of this stage in his career, we can only assume it's playing for titles or playing with his son, who did say he's entering the draft this year, but also entered the transfer portal. So his future could go either way at this point. The Nuggets are big favorites tonight with a chance to close out the Lakers with the total set at 2.17. And you can watch LA and Denver tonight on TSN at 10 Eastern and 7 Pacific. But before that, we've also got the Celtics and Heat and Thunder and Pelicans. <laughs> Oh, we could go. Oh, my bad. Hold up. Y'all can hear me? This on or this off? <laughs> All right, bro. Done enough. My favorite segment and yours that we love sports today. Why we love sports today. With the NFL draft, we get introduced to plenty of new characters. And Bill's receiver, Keon Coleman, is definitely that. As he showed us during his introductory press conference when asked about his coat. Nah, man, you forgot what the school in Michigan for two years? You guess, guess where I got this from, though? That's what I'm saying. You got to guess. You're going to be wrong, though, but guess. Nah. Macy's, what you mean? <laughs> they, be on, they be on sale on the, on the rack, all the colors. Price, exactly. Look, 79 89 
nice little deal. You can get the trench coat for like a hundred dollars. Nice little. I'm, I'll take it up personally. I might go get some more colors. I need a blue one and, a, and another red one. This is a man of the people. He got a nice deal. He's letting everybody know about the deal, where it is, where to find it, how many colors. I don't know. He's already a favorite. But not only that, he also showed us something we all should follow with big purchases. If you're shopping a season ahead, that's where you find the great deals. See, I ain't, I ain't know nothing about Thanksgiving. I get, you see, I'm, 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 I shop like my mom. I get my coats in the summertime. You gotta shop two seasons, a season or two before, just in case, you know, and it be cheaper. Cause you go at Thanksgiving, everybody in Thanksgiving, you know what I'm saying? Who we starting with? Oh, we could go, oh, my bad, hold up. Y'all can hear me? This on or this off? All right, bro. How do we go shopping with this guy? He's already selling himself and future content segments. Let's go shopping. Let's have a time. Bill's PR, we are here, we are ready to go shopping. And then when it all finished, he was one of us with his eye on the snack table. Y'all have a great day. Yeah, I can grab some of them. Oh, they're great. They're fire. Oh, I did. I did. I did. If you're making me eat, we can go Man, I've, I've had like three in the so. He is me, okay? I am stuck at the snack table. But then he shares? He shared his cookie? He didn't take the whole one for himself? Or the whole container for himself? Come on. He could have. He could have and gotten away with it. We got two games tonight in the NHL, and we could see a second elimination as the Lightning head back to Florida down 3 1. Tampa erupted last game for six goals. And Steven Stamkos has five through the first four games of the series. But the issue hasn't been scoring for Tampa. It's been keeping pucks out of their own net. Andre Vasilevsky has a save percentage of under 900 and a goals against over three. Just barely over three, but still over. And since losing in the cup final against the Avs, Vasilevsky is three and seven in the postseason with an 8-8-4 save percentage. The other series tonight sees Dallas looking to even their series with Vegas. The Golden Knights have lost consecutive home games in the playoffs just twice in their existence. Once at the Caps in the Cup Final, and the other to Montreal during the Habs' improbable Cup run. They've never lost back-to-back -back home games in Vegas, from games 1-4 to four in a series though. So the Stars definitely have their work cut out for them tonight, and they're going to need some more offensive production from their best players. As this trio of Stars has combined for a grand total of zero points. Honestly, I think I speak for most NHL fans when we say we're sick of seeing Vegas win, okay? It's not fair. The rest of us are suffering while their fans get everything. I'm, I'm done with that actually. I want Dallas. That's it for me today. Julia will be filling in tomorrow. I'll see you back here Wednesday. Have a good one.